A commonly asked question is, do I have enough insurance? I'm Katie, the real estate gal, your Denver Metro real estate agent. And I'm sitting here with Curtis, who's going to be answering some of the most common questions of, do I have enough insurance? Curtis, you want to introduce yourself? Yeah. Hi, uh, my name's Kurt Corrado. I am a 20 plus year farmer's agent in Denver in the Denver tech center. Yeah. Happy to help. Perfect. Alrighty. So one of the reasons we wanted to cover this specific topic is because of the Marshall fires that recently happened. And if you are unfamiliar with the Marshall fires, it is a fire that started on December 30th, 2021. It started and spread so quickly. It burned over 6,000 acres and burned down 1,084 homes. I'm getting goosebumps just talking about it. But a lot of these Marshall fire victims that were homeowners didn't have enough coverage. So Kurt, what advice would you give a homeowner to make sure that they're properly insured? Yeah, great question. I would say, it I get more calls since the Marshall fires about, I'm concerned that I don't have enough insurance. You've probably seen on TV, it read about it. Most homeowners in the Marshall fires are not going to be able to rebuild their homes with the coverages that they have. If I could give some advice, obvious ones, but it's going to take some proactive effort, sit down with your agent and say, run my home through a computer program, which every insurance company has, run my home through a replacement cost program, because I want to make sure that I at least have enough coverage to rebuild my home. So meeting with your agent would be a great starting point. I would definitely get a replacement cost calculator run and every agency and company has a calculator program they use. And if you're not comfortable with those coverages, tell them to bump them up. Secondly, there are really two types of homeowners policies. There's those with replacement cost and those without replacement cost. I would specifically ask your agency, do I have guaranteed replacement cost on this policy so that if I'm underinsured, like almost everybody in the Marshall fire was, I know that my home's going to be rebuilt. That would be a second one. So if you're asking for those types of, of policies, just know that the higher your coverage, the higher your premium. Mm -hmm. So there is a balance here between, I don't want to be overinsured, but I do want to know that I'm not going to be a Marshall fire victim where I'm in the worst position that I've ever been in. I've literally just lost my home and now I'm finding out that I can't rebuild it. Make sure that you either have 25% replacement cost, which is the most common, 50% replacement cost, or we at Farmers have an option now where you can do guaranteed replacement cost. No matter what it's gonna cost to rebuild your home, we're going to rebuild it. And very few companies are doing guaranteed replacement costs now. Also, given the last year or so, appreciation has been absolutely crazy. In January and February alone in 2022, appreciation was around 11%. In a typical full calendar year, it's 7.5%. So a lot of people, a lot of victims of the Marshall fires didn't even think twice to increase their coverage. Some of the victims of the Marshall fires, the homes are valued at $750,000, but unfortunately they're only insured for about 300,000. All, all of this crazy appreciation is definitely adding up. Now there is something that is being done about that. So we are currently in the beginning of June, 2022, but there was a bill that was passed a couple months ago. Yes. Uh, Kurt, can you talk a little bit more about the bill? Uh, luckily in some ways, this fire happened in kind of the Boulder area where they're very proactive they're very willing to go to their legislature and let them know that something needs to be done about this so it never happens again. So yes, fortunately, a couple months ago, some very proactive folks that had their homes burnt down in that area went to their legislature, their senators, their, their local government officials and said something needs to be done about this so that it doesn't happen again. House Bill 1111 was passed. And what House Bill 1111 does is you can use the top three coverages on your homeowner's policy. Part of your homeowner's policy is the value of the home. Part of it is the value of your contents or your stuff. And part of it is your outstructures, your detached garages, your sheds. And 
What House Bill 1111 does is it allows you to take all of those coverages and mix and match them. So if you didn't have enough coverage on the building or the dwelling, you can take some of your contents coverage and roll it into the dwelling. And so you can kind of consolidate all of those coverages to hopefully make sure that if um, you are a little underinsured on the house, we can steal from the contents and help rebuild the home. The other nice thing that House Bill 1111 did is rather than having to prove your clothes, your TV, your furniture, your bed, your tools, and having to get an inventory list of everything in your home, you immediately get a check day one at 65% of your contents value. Wow, okay. So if you have your contents at 100,000, you're gonna get a $65,000 check day one, no questions asked. Is that across all of Colorado or what are the yes. neighborhoods yeah. or city counties? So the House Bill 1111 is for in all of Colorado. Mm -hmm. The key is that fire or that event had to be declared a ca catastrophic event. Okay. If it's not declared a catastrophe and your home burned down because you left your iron plugged in or your grill blew up or the turkey on Thanksgiving, mm -hmm caught on fire. It happens um, more than you think. <laughs> it does happen. Thanksgiving is one of our biggest fire days, oh actually. Gosh, yes, so people are out like doing crazy things with their turkeys and fires do happen. In order for House Bill 1111 to apply, it has to have been a catastrophic event. Okay, that's great to know. This is all really great information. If you have any questions about House Bill 1111 or anything insurance related, Kurt is your guy. And I'm Katie, the real estate gal. I'm your Denver Metro real estate agent. I am more than happy to help with the buying needs, selling needs, or anything in between for you. So please reach out to us. Our contact information is in the profile. Please like this video if you found any of this helpful for you or subscribe because I release videos every single Wednesday. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.